Hi there, welcome to my views and news. Four news stories for you. Firstly, Fano fighters entered a main city in Gojam a few hours ago. A quick operation by Fano fighters. They have launched two similar operations in two other major cities in the last uh, two weeks or so. Secondly, where is Ethiopian uh, Prime Minister PM uh, and Zanash is on a foreign visit? Uh, thirdly, a journalist from Tegarai was arrested yesterday when Makale University students were uh, beaten and uh, detained by security forces. And fourthly, Heavy fighting ongoing just 30 kilometers away from Mogadishu, Somalia's capital, fighting between Al Shabaab and security forces. First of yours, uh, Pano fighters uh, have adopted a new strategy. They are carrying out uh, swift operations inside major cities. Now, they have carried out two such operations in the past uh, two weeks. They entered Gondar city in Kabalatin, uh, in Miraki sub-city. They attacked police and militia members, killed several. They retreated without suffering any major losses. Then a similar attack was carried out in a North Shore zone of the Amhara region. Debre Birhan was uh, the target there, Debre Birhan city. In the Brebirhan, again, police militia members were attacked, ENDF2. Now, third attack, similar attack by a Fano fighters, quick cooperation. Uh, and all, in all these attacks, by the way, Fano groups killed prosperity party officials as well in Gondar, Debrebirhan, and in this third city as well. So it means that they collect information about those people. Those security officials, those government officials, those uh, elders who are supporting the operation against FANU, who are working actively against FANU, they compile lists, they have the information about the whereabouts of those people, they enter town cities, and then they kill those people. Obviously, police, militia, ENDF are targets too. FANU groups entered uh, Debre Morcos a few hours ago. Debre Morcos is one of the major cities in Gojam, situated along a main road which connects Bahirdar with Oromia. They entered uh, Debre Morcos. Fighting was not in the outskirts of Debre Morcos. They entered main city, city center in Debre Morcos. And uh, their police and militia members were killed in this attack by Fano fighters. Reportedly, uh, several, uh, less than five, I would say, uh, residents of uh, Debre Morcos were killed in this attack in a locality. Fano fighters had uh, advanced intelligence about the whereabouts of these people. For uh, around uh, two to three hours, they remained in uh, Debre Morcos, then they retreated. This is a new pattern uh, which has been adopted by Fano fighters that they are carrying out attacks, quick attacks in main cities. I think they carried out an attack in Bahirdar too. So, four attacks in the last two months or so, quick attacks by Dar, Gondar. Debre Birhan and now Debre Morcos. People would say that Fano is gaining nothing from these attacks uh, in terms of territorial gains. Yes, Fano is not gaining anything, but they are uh, trying to ensure that no one supports military, no one, and they are trying to frighten uh, police and militia now. They don't want people to join police, to join militia. They know that obviously one day military will have to withdraw. Uh, and the military, if military withdraws, then police and militia will have to take over. They don't want any regional security structure to be erected, which could be a threat to the Fano groups. Secondly, words, Ethiopian PM Abi arrived in Kigali, Rwanda today, accompanied by his wife, Zinash Tacho. The couple arrived there. 
in Rwanda, a ceremony is being organized to commemorate the genocide which was committed in 1994. This is the uh, 30th uh, commemoration of that genocide in 1994. Uh, Tutsis were massacred in Tutsi Hutu uh, ethnic violence. Around more than half a million uh, Tutsis were massacred in this uh, genocide, uh, one of the worst uh, genocide uh, campaigns in Africa. And uh, Rwanda uh, built after that, uh, it built itself from scratch, you can say. Uh, Al Kagame is in power there, Abi. Is going to attend this program. There are several African leaders arriving in Rwanda to attend this genocide commemoration program. By the way, PMRB is also accused of genocide. Amhara people accuse him of genocide. The Grayans accused him of genocide as well. Uh, though genocide has not been proven in Amhara or in Tigray by any international entity. But uh, Amhara activists popularly call him genocide. Tigrayans also used to call him genocide. So, one who is a genocider for some Amharas and Tigrayans is attending uh, a commemoration ceremony for genocide held in uh, Rwanda. I never use the term genocide uh, about human rights abuses which happen in Tigray, which are happening in Amhara. I always say yes. Human rights abuses are being committed. Military is killing people. Military kill people in Tigray and Amhara as well. But you cannot call it a genocide. Thirdly, we were Tigray where protests are not allowed. Everyone knows those who protest are bound to be arrested, detained, imprisoned, tortured. Not only are protests uh, discouraged, banned, but also the coverage is banned. So if anyone gives coverage to protests, they are also arrested. A journalist has been a journalist was arrested yesterday when Macaulay University stood protested. Police in Macaulay dispersed students by resorting to force. Students were beaten. Female students were slapped, beaten as well. Around 10 were arrested. A journalist who was covering this uh, protest, who gave coverage to this protest, was arrested as well. Journalists from TPM uh, Media, Tegarai uh, People's Media Services. His name is Adhanam Sartase. The TPM outlet has confirmed the arrest of the journalist. What was his crime? He was just covering a protest. This is the situation of uh, media freedom in Tigray. That if anyone covers a protest, by the way, right to protest is a fundamental right. It's a basic right of people who are aggrieved. So if anyone is covering the protest, any journalist, he or she uh, is bound to be arrested. Very poor human rights situation uh, in Tagaray these days. Uh, is Tagaray following what Isasa Voki has been doing for decades in Eritrea? By the way, TPLF does not have a very good track record of respect for human rights. So, the model which TPLF uh, introduced in Addis Ababa remained in force for decades is now being emulated in Macaulay as well. Lastly, viewers, uh, Somalia, where Al Shabaab is stepping up attacks against security forces, against the intelligence agency. Several attacks by Al Shabaab in the past uh, uh, three weeks or so. Hassan Sheikh claimed a few days ago while he was addressing a gathering in Gulmuduk that Al Shabaab was about to be defeated, but uh, on the ground, the situation is that Al Shabaab is gaining ground. It is strengthening itself. Uh, several attacks by Al Shabaab close to Mogadishu in the past few uh, weeks. One attack in, in Mogadishu as well. Well, several were attack, several attacks were carried out in Middle Shabale, from where Mogadishu is accessible. 
latest attack came this morning when al shabaab fighters stormed a station a center of of uh, somalia's intelligence agency in balad town balad is in middle shabale around 35 kilometers away from ogadishu is situated balad town and there al shabaab fighters detonated uh, a device close to the center of uh, somalia's a spy agency then al shabab fighters stormed the agency headquarters reportedly al shabab is claiming to have killed uh, government officials military officials in this attack attacks by al shabab so close to mogadishu are alarming they have the capability to enter mogadishu as well they have proven this uh, capability So how can we say that Al Shabab is about to be defeated when they are carrying out attacks on the top institution in Somalia, and that is Somalia's intelligence agency? By the way, the agency has a new head now. Mahad Salad has been replaced, and Abdullahi uh, Sambalulshe is the new head of uh, the agency. He was appointed the head just two days ago. and after that this this is second attack by the way uh, by al shabab on the agency they carried out an attack on this agency in mogadishu to a few days ago and now attack on the agency's uh, center in balad town thank you